Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you can use the Compare and Merge Workbooks method in newer versions of Excel, you must first add the Legacy button for it to the Ribbon or Quick Access Toolbar as discussed in the lesson titled Adding Shared Workbook Buttons in Excel. After that, you can then use the older Compare and Merge Workbooks feature. If you need to add a button to the Quick Access Toolbar for this function, which does not appear in the Ribbon in newer versions of Excel, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar button at the right end of the Quick Access Toolbar. Then select the More Commands choice from the Buttons drop-down menu. In the Excel Options window that appears, then select the All Commands choice from the Choose Commands From drop-down menu. Then scroll through the list of commands until you find the Compare and Merge Workbooks command. Click it to select it. Then click the Add button to move it to the list at the right. Then click the OK button to finish. If you have created or received copies of a traditionally shared workbook into which different users have made different changes, you can take those workbook copies and merge the changes together into a single workbook. There are a few requirements that the copies must meet before you can merge them together. First, all merged workbooks must be copies of the original shared workbook. They must all have different file names but must all be located within the same folder. They cannot have passwords applied to them. They must also have change tracking in effect since the copies were created, and they must have been tracking the change history. Also note that if you merge multiple copies, changes in the last workbook copy you merge replace any conflicting changes in the workbook into which you are merging. To merge shared workbooks, make sure you have all of the copies to merge saved in the same folder with different file names. Next, click the Compare and Merge Workbooks button in either the Changes button group on the Review tab of the ribbon or in the Quick Access toolbar depending on where you added the Legacy button. You can save the workbook if prompted. That then opens the Select Files to Merge into Current Workbook dialog box. Select the copies of the workbook to merge into the open copy or original shared workbook. If you select more than one copy in this dialog box, the order in which they appear is the order in which they are merged into the open workbook. When you have finished selecting the file or files to merge into the open workbook, click the OK button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.